Life is Strange launches on the 30th of January for PS4, PS3, Xbox One and Xbox 360. And publisher Square Enix will also release a demo comprising of the first 20 or so minutes of the game on release day. I had the chance to play through that same starting section of the game recently, and so here it is. Now, there are no really big spoilers here, but do bear in mind if you want to go into the game completely fresh, you might want to come back and watch this later. So, we're starting off right in the midst of a storm, with protagonist Max waking up at the foot of a lighthouse with no recollection of how she got there. There's the lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. Apologies, but in the interest of time saving, I'm just going to speed this up a little bit. Holy shit. All right, tornado, not good. Flying boats, also not good. Thank goodness this was only a possibly prophetic dream, eh? So now Max wakes up in the middle of her photography class. That's her parents' money going to good use there. Okay, I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller? Weird. Diane, We're in control again, and there's a couple of things on the desk that we can look at and interact with. It's a quick introduction to the basic controls, which should be familiar to anyone who's played a Telltale or Quantic Dream game recently. In fact, I spoke recently to Don't Nod's creative director Jean-Maxime Morris, or J-Max, who said that he actually pitched the game as something to bridge the gap between the works of those two developers. Keep that to yourself. And yep, one of the first things I do in this game is take a selfie. Welcome to 2015. Probably should have taken the flash off first, but oh well. Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular. So now we also meet a few of Max's classmates, both friends and rivals, and her favorite teacher, Mr. Jefferson, who we'll no doubt get to know better over the course of the game's five episodes. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Yeah, Max, who doesn't know the answer to that? Mm -hmm. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. The first Obviously not all these directions are necessary or conducive to the game's plot, but I'm just being thorough. You can find out all about him in your textbook, or even... I can't believe I still have this pencil. Anyway, class is dismissed, so now's our chance to go exploring and hopefully enjoy a bit of that beautiful sunshine. Go where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. At this point, I'm just being really newsy, so let's speed things up again and get out of here. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I didn't have any time. Way too much homework. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images. 
to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. How cute I looked yet. I was about to. I'm not paying a You always Welcome to the real world. Just cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture. She plays it so sharp. <laughs> I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. And this is Blackwell Academy, a famous and exclusive private school. And here's the game's opening credits for episode one, Chrysalis. Don't Nod have said that they will try and keep as tightly as possible to the game's release schedule. The developer is looking to release each episode at six week intervals, saying that they've seen how sporadic other episodic series releases have been. <coughs> Telltale. That is a great goal to have, but actually keeping to the schedule is, of course, another matter entirely. This is kind of the first example of the developers weaving music directly into the game's story. J Max told us that Don't Nod have lots of licensed songs lined up for this season, but they also hired Jonathan Morali of Sid Matters, the French band that sings the song you hear now, to create different versions of some of the same tracks, which means the music will change and evolve depending on your decisions. It's a really interesting idea that I think makes sense in this game in particular, given how important art and music is to the characters and to setting the scene and tone of the game. You can obviously not bother looking at any of this stuff, I just quite like checking everything out. And really, drinking in the atmosphere is a big part of games like this. It's helpful for getting to know Max too, as she gives a bit of commentary in every detail that you pick out. You can also access her journal from the pause menu to get a bit of insight on the events that led to her family moving back to Arcadia Bay, her relationship with other characters, and her thoughts on her newfound powers. You can also read sent and receive texts too. And I think I've been wandering around this corridor long enough. Let's move things forward a bit. I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? <sighs> Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. So, Max has an opportunity to get a better picture for the photography competition. Luckily, she gets the shot before a guy enters the woman's bathroom looking shifty. This is sure to end well. It's cool, Nathan. Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just come to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No!
Whoa. What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. As he likely was. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings. Now, Max's power to rewind time has been revealed for the first time to us and to Max herself. There's no explanation given to your powers outside of what we've just witnessed, and I kind of really like that. From everything I've experienced of Life is Strange thus far, the rewind mechanic is used as more of a narrative device than a major plot point in itself. The game isn't really interested in exploring the supernatural element. It's more about the day-to-day -day occurrences in Max's life, which are strange enough. Ah, I think I may have cracked the title there and uncracked Max's camera. I actually did it. Photographer who perfectly captured I'm a the human, human time machine. Black and white. Anybody? Bueller? Max, don't, don't freak Alex. out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why are Wow, sir, my old broken because camera. Keep it together, Max. Spaces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. When I took my selfie, Jefferson so asked me a question. Time to re-selfie. If he does again, I'll know this is for real. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of- Shh, shh, I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not of dreaming course, this. You all know, the it's real. Has been I can tell. The early anyway, we now have the opportunity to do something about that unfortunate incident in the bathroom. But we've got to get out of class without arousing suspicion first. The point Can I save her? Portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me Lewis after class. And I need time to save that girl. Types. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. That didn't go as well as we'd hoped, but now we've learned something that can help us avoid getting kept behind after class. So let's rewind and use that. Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? You seem to be able to rewind events as often as you need to, but leaving the area will shift events along irrevocably. So make sure you're happy with how things play out before you move the story along. As well as posing. Nice work, Max. Boom. Fair play to Max. I'd definitely be using this power for evil. Portraiture hugely popular mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. But you can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of Evan. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Even if you're submitting your photo for the competition. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Right, we're going to rewind again for no reason other than to get extra brownie points for brown nosing. 
everybody oh, should have totally. that chance. totally. I only right? want to share whatever gifts I have with the world. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. All the right answers, sure indeed. It it's amazing what you can do when you get unlimited yeah, do-overs. Let's get to the bathroom. Okay, Max, retrace every step. So far, so good. Now, there are a few rules to using this rewind ability. Whilst everyone around her will move back to wherever they were at the time she's rewinding to, Max herself will stay in the same position. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with! Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Don't Come on, put that thing down! Tell me what to do! And any objects that she's holding will stay with her. You control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! So here I picked up the hammer, but I didn't trigger the alarm in time. But if I quickly rewind now, I already have the hammer, and I can just immediately trigger the alarm, saving the day. More trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? No way! Don't ever touch me again, freak! And this alarm is where the demo ends, so that's where I'm gonna leave it. The game launches on the 30th of January on PC and across current and last gen consoles. And a demo of this section of the game will be available on consoles on the same day, so you're free to try before you buy. There are five episodes in total included on the season pass, but when speaking to us recently, creative director J-Max did hint at the possibility of a second season if things go well with the first, so watch this space. Thanks for watching and do give us a like or a subscribe if you enjoyed. Bye!